Hey everyone, this is Josh Booth with the COSIDA Academic All-America New Media Committee, and I am uh, proud to speak with Kyla Comley today. Kyla is a senior graduate from Sterling College in Kansas and is originally from Sterling and is actually at one of the great school classrooms in Sterling right now. Uh, Kyla, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you, Josh? Thanks for being here. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we are interviewing Kyla today because she has been awarded the COSIDA Academic All-America or All-American of the Year Award. So um, Kyla is a staple of small college basketball in the state of Kansas. I know her extremely well just because she has played against the school that I worked for, Bethel College, and beat us. A lot of times we've got a couple of our shots in there too, but Kyla and her team have been fantastic to watch in the KCAC um, Kyla, obviously, like I said, is a graduating senior. She's been a four-time NAI All-American, I believe a two-time conference player of the year. I'm sure you were a first team member probably all four years of your time at Sterling. Um, and then your team was also able to win the conference championship this year and go to nationals. So quite a resume there now to add on this academic All-American of the Year honor. Kyla, when you look back on your career at Sterling, What's your proudest accomplishment? What's the thing that you really hang your hat on from your time there? That's a great question. There's so many different things that I think um, I'm proud of just for myself and just for my team because we had a really special team. Um, but I would say if I had to pick one, it would probably be um, just getting that All-American status. I think um, as a freshman when I got it the first time, I didn't really understand how special it was. You're just a young kid and then Every year, I really, I truly understood how hard it was to just get on that team and to be recognized with that honor. So I think just being able to get that for four years was something that I was super proud of and something that I definitely worked really hard to get. So I think that's probably one of my favorite or top accomplishments. Yeah, being an All-American once is special, but being able to do it every single year is just mm -hmm. really different, just a different level. So yeah, that, that would be quite the accomplishment too. Um, your team this year was insane for what our conference standards kind of are. I can't remember exactly, but I think you went maybe 22 games in a row. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Well, we actually won. We won 30 games in a row, and we lost our last one. So <laughs> that was only a loss. Yeah. Jeez. Crazy. <laughs> so thinking of that, your team was so well-rounded. You had so much talent across the board. And obviously, yeah. you've been able to experience a lot of success with your team this year. What was maybe a moment from this season where either you realized how special your group was or maybe a moment where you were able to achieve some greatness? Um, I think there's a couple of things that pop in my head. First is just to speak of how um, such great girls that we had on our team. Like we were all – we all got along. We all hung out. And I think that just stands out to me. It doesn't always happen in college basketball where you get a team where all 15, all 16 girls just mesh. And so that was really special. And I think that's what made our season and all of our accomplishments special. And then one specific moment would probably just be after we knew we won conference, the tradition to run and jump in our pool. That's kind of a side our gym. And I had never done that. Like I, I mean, all four years we were successful and it was great, but we had never won conference. And so that was a goal. So for our senior year, for my senior year, to be able to run and jump in the pool and just to hear the echo is so loud. Um, it was just so special for me and for my coaches and just for everyone that was involved. So I think that'd be probably my favorite moment. Caden Ford, your SID, told me a little bit about that, but did yeah. you do that immediately after the game when you know you win conference or how does that work? So we wanted to go like right after the buzzer ended. We just want to like run in, um, but you know, the guys played after. So we didn't really want to come walking through the gym soaking wet um, mm -hmm. in the middle of their game. So we waited till after they finished and then we let parents know and they all came in and lined the pool. Um, and so did some other students and just different members of our college. And then we all just ran and jumped in at the same time. It was pretty special. That's awesome. That's a, that's a unique tradition. I think that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Thank you. So obviously this award is because you were able to do great in the, on the court, but also in the classroom. How are you able to manage your time so well or just be able to really exceed academically? Um, I think I'm thankful because I've never been someone who procrastinates. I like to get things done. 
And being an education major, there's just so many different observation hours and just different things outside of classes. So I think that taught me basically just how to manage my time. And what I think helped me out a lot too is I was able to really focus. I got something, even if I knew like it wasn't going to be due for another week or two, I would like get it done in the next two days so that I could go hang out with my friends. And so I just really like kind of on my schedule, I asked professors super early. They were probably kind of annoyed with me at times because <laughs> I'd ask weeks in advance when things were due. But as an athlete, sometimes that's just kind of what you have to do when you have games and you're traveling and with education, there's just so many different things and obstacles. And so I just kind of would try and get things done really early so I didn't have to stress about it and could spend time with uh, my friends and really make memories throughout college. That's awesome that you had that motivation to be on top of your schedule throughout your whole time and maybe even push your professors to be at the top of theirs. Um, and that should really help you in the classroom as obviously mm -hmm. that's maybe where your career is headed. Uh, maybe tell the people watching what your plans are after graduation at Sterling. So I actually um, in January was able to go through the interview process here at the grade school in Sterling that I'm currently student teaching in. And I was able to get the job. So I'm going to be teaching sixth grade math and science at Sterling Grade School. Um, so it's super exciting. I got to work with these kids in this community this last year and just different people since I've been from Sterling. So I'm just really excited to give back to the community in a different way and to take on a, a more like teaching leadership position. So. Well, that's awesome that you have your plan laid out so well, obviously getting a job at the school school district that you've been a part of for so long, the community. So congratulations on that. Congratulations on having a stellar four-year career at Sterling and to top it off, this COSIDA Academic All-America Award. Yeah, thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate it.